Welcome back. Art goes on the attack this weekend in the Metro. The largest art complex in the state is hosting Art Attack. The open studio event will showcase four floors of locally made arts and gifts. Shane Wells has a preview of what you can look for in Northeast Minneapolis's art district. The hardest challenge or the hardest part of this weekend will be picking where to start, who to see, because Northrop King Building, as you can see, this is just one hallway of it, four th floors, 350 artists showing their work, and one of the highlighted artists this morning for us is Beverly Hammond. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is a wonderful opportunity to just to talk. You like getting <laughs> up extra early, is that what I'm hearing? No, <laughs> I don't. You did it for us and we appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so tell us about Tipton Hammond Arts because it is more than just what we're seeing, a paintings collage. Yes, Tipton Hammond Arts is a culmination of the artwork of my amazing husband, Andrew K. Hammond, who likes to be called Drew, okay. and my work. And um, we started on the fourth floor in a small studio uh, back right before the pandemic hit. Okay. Uh, so we, had, we were grateful to have a corner. And uh, <laughs> since then, we've moved down here to 261 with a massive space. Um, we've been able to get all that extra art out of <laughs> our living room. And so we're excited. We get to create nonstop. Um, we also kind of have a multi-purpose uh, to our gallery. I teach dance classes. Um, I sell my books. I do, we do all kinds of things. Uh, birthday parties, events, and so we, uh, we really love the opportunity to continue to create and just meet people who love art. Absolutely, that's what Art Attack is about yes, too. It, it yes. is a chance to converse with people. Um, do you want to walk us through, because people are going to walk up, tell me a little bit sure. about this painting or this one. You know. Sure. Um, uh, this one is uh, Billie Holiday, which was part of the uh, Jazz and Blues series because June was uh, African American Music Month. So Drew did collages of uh, all the Bessie Smith, Nina Simone, Billie Holiday, and his amazing, he's like the Romare Bearden of today. And so his collages really take your breath away. Um, this piece is called Vintage Classique. Uh, when I, Drew and I moved here in 2017. Uh, from Baltimore, and I started painting hats, and I couldn't stop. Um, someone <laughs> do you saw like wearing hats? Yes, I do, but okay. it's more about the tradition of the hats, yeah. and particularly in the black church, yeah. where hats made a woman feel pretty good on a Sunday, <laughs> when maybe the rest of the week wasn't so great. Sure. Um, but so the hats were then featured in the uh, Minnesota African American Museum and Gallery for a whole year, and the exhibit has moved around. This is called Cassandra's Guitar, one of Drew's pieces. Uh, that I just love because I love music and um, I love the details. The lines and circles that he does are all by hand. The it's master a lot of, of all, dance, <laughs> singing, uh, minister, painter. Yeah, much is given, much is required. Amazing. So I try well, to manage it. Thank you for sharing it, yes. it with all of us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's been wonderful it. talking to you. If you want to check it out, second floor is where we are. What studio are you? 261. 261. Yes. 261, Hammond Tipton Arts, place to be. This is, again, Art Attack. It starts up tonight at 5. If you want to check it out, too, it runs Saturday and Sunday. Doors open at noon. Free to anyone to come, walk through, talk, converse with the artist as well. A really great opportunity to see all the incredible art that is created right here in the Twin Cities.